Good day everyone, we're going to continue our discussion on linear programming. So this time we're going to find the maximum value of an objective function, applying of course the concepts that we have reviewed in graphing linear inequalities. So let us have this equation S is equal to 2x plus y and the system of linear inequalities 3x plus y is less than or equal to 7, x plus 2y is less than or equal to 9, x is greater than or equal to 0, and y is greater than or equal to 0. Let us have s equals 2x plus y as our objective function. And the system of linear equation as our constraints. The constraints are the restrictions that lead to the attainment of our goal or our objective and that is to find the maximum values to our objective function and you will notice in our system of linear inequality we have two more uh, linear equation these are x is greater than or equal to zero and y is greater than or equal to zero since we are dealing with the objective function involving the variables x and y the variables x and y are the decision variables. These are the quantities that are to be sold, produced, or the uh, variables in our problem at hand. Okay? And since we're dealing with real life objects, we will get only positive values for our decision variables. So this two inequalities are what we call the non-negativity constraints. Okay, let us begin graphing our constraints, the system of linear inequalities. First, we have 3x plus y is less than or equal to 7. If you refer to our part 1 review, we get the y-intercept and the slope for the equation so that we will be able to graph the linear inequality. So, y-intercept here is 7, we get the first point at 0, 7. And then since the slope is negative 3, from our y-intercept, we need 3 units going down and 1 unit going to the right. That will get, or that will give our second point on the line. And then constructing the line, we will now have the solution to our inequality using the test point 0, 0. By that, we will get the shaded region as our solution to this inequality. The next is x plus 2y is less than or equal to 9. Again, we get the y-intercept, setting x equals 0, and the slope from the y-intercept point. So we get the first point of the second line at 0, 4.5, or 0, 9 over 2. The slope is negative one half, so that is one unit going down and two units going to the right for our second point. Connecting these two points, we have our second line of the second inequality. So finding the solution to this, we use zero zero as test point, and then we will get our solution as the shaded region, including our test point. <coughs> So we go to the next inequality, x is greater than or equal to 0. We know that these are points, positive points, coming from the y-axis going to the right. And then y is greater than or equal to 0, that these will be points from the x-axis going up. We now have graphed all the inequalities in our constraints. So where is the solution to this? That is the region, which is the intersection of the solution in the linear inequalities in our system. And this region is what we're looking for. This is the uh, solution, or this contains the solution to our system of linear inequalities. And for our problem at hand, we call this the feasible region. All the values of points or the coordinates of points in this region will give positive values to our objective function. Now we will get the maximum to that and 
what we will be using are the corner points. So to get the corner points, these are just the intersection of the two equations from our constraints. First, we get 0, 0. As you can see, this is the intersection of the two lines x equals 0 and y equals 0 in our constraints. The other one is 2 and 1 third 0. This is the intersection of y equals 0 and 3x plus y equals 7. Or just the x-intercept of the line 3x plus y equals 7. The other one is 1, 4. This is the intersection of the two lines 3x plus y equals 7 and x plus 2y equals 9. Now in here, since we have a good rectangular coordinate system, we were able to locate the intersection as 1, 4. If you're using a white sheet of paper, you would need to use other method in finding the intersection of these two uh, lines. And that will be solving system of linear equation in either elimination or substitution method. We will recall that in the next slide. The last corner point is 0, 4.5 or 0, 4 and 1 half. That is the y-intercept of the line x plus 2y equals 9, setting x equals 0. Okay, let us verify whether one of the intersection points is 1, 4. The system of linear equation by substitution method. So let us take 3x plus y equals 7 from our first constraint as equation 1 and then x plus 2y equals 9 from, other, from our second constraint as equation 2. So again, the solution is by substitution. So from equation 1, we write an equation of y in terms of x. And that will be y equals negative 3x plus 7. Adding negative 3x to both sides of equation 1. So since we have already an expression for y, let us use equation 2 and substitute the value for y. And we'll have x plus 2 times negative 3x plus 7 equals 1. So by distributive property of equality, we get x minus 6x, that is 2 times negative 3x, plus 14, that is 2 times 7 equals 9. Simplifying further by combining like terms, we have negative 5x equals negative 5. That is from 9 minus 14. <coughs> Dividing both sides by negative 5, we get x equals 1. Now that we already have the value for x, we get the value of y using equation of, equation of equation this time. So that will be 1 plus 2y equals 1. By subtracting negative 1 to both sides of the equation, we get 2y equals 8. And then divide both sides by 2, we get y equals 4. So the solution is x equals 1 and y equals 4. This is what we call the solution to the system of the equation. So therefore, the two lines indeed intersect at 1, 4. So now we have the corner points. Let us go back to our objective function, s equals 2x plus y. We will get values of s, our objective function, by substituting each of our corner points to the variables x and y and in the objective function. Let us start. The first corner point is 0, 0, so we substitute. That will be 2 times 0 plus 0. That is to our objective function. Then we get 0. The other corner point is 2 and 1 third, 0. So we substitute that to the objective function. 2 times 2 and 1 third plus 0. We get 4 and the third corner point is 1, 4. So we substitute that to our objective function. That will be 2 times 1 plus 4. So we get 6. And then the fourth corner point is 0, 4, and 1 half. So we substitute that. We have 2 times 0 plus 4 and 1 half. 
evaluating, we have 4 and 1. So from the values obtained for our objective function, we see that the largest value is 6. So we say that the maximum value of the objective function is 6 and the objective point is 1, 4. Get the concept. So next part, we will have real-world problems involving maximum value of an objective function. So this time, we will be the ones to formulate our linear inequalities in the constraint and the equation in the objective function.